If you're happy and you know, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know, and you really wanna show, and if you're happy and you know, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know, and you really wanna show, and if you're happy and you know, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know, snap your fingers. If you're happy and you know, snap your fingers. If you're happy and you know, and you really wanna show, and if you're happy and you know, snap your fingers. If you're happy and you know, say amen. If you're happy and you know, say amen. amen. If you're happy and you know, and you really wanna show. If you're happy and you know, say amen. amen. If you're happy and you know, say hello. hello. If you're happy and you know, say hello. hello. If you're happy and you know, and you really wanna show. And if you're happy and you know, say hello. If you're happy and you know, do all five. Hello. If you're happy and you know, do all five. Hello. If you're happy and you know, and you really wanna show, and if you're happy and you know, so do all five. Okay, I'm going to tell you a verse. We will keep on praying for you that will make you the kind of children he wants to have and make you as you wish you could be. Um, Second Thessalonians 1 verse 11. God who began a good work within you will keep right on, helping you grow in his grace and until his task within you is finally finished. Philippians 1 6. Hello, everybody. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. Welcome to Little Lights. Um, that was a lovely song and was sung and said by Johan. Um, today, I will be reading to you different kinds of verses from the Bible that have come together as a letter from God to you. I saw this on my desk and I started reading it and it moved my heart so much that I want to read it to you because you will feel loved by God after I read this. My child, you may not know me, but I know everything about you. I know when you sit down and when you rise up. I am familiar with all your ways. Even with the very hairs on your head are numbered. For you were made in my image. In me you will live and move and have your being. For you are my offspring, I knew you even before you were conceived. I chose you when I planned creation. You were not a mistake. It says that in the Bible you were not a mistake. For all your days are written in my book. I determined the exact time of your birth and where you would live. So where you are right now is where God wants you to be. He has determined it for you. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. I knit you together in your mother's womb. Now this really touched me. He knit us in our mother's womb and brought you forth on the day you were born. I have misrepresented by those who do not know me. 
I am non distant and angered, but I am the complete expression of love, and it is my desire to lavish my love on you. Simply because you are my child and I am your father, I offer you more than your earthly father ever could. For I am the perfect father. Every good gift that you receive comes from my hand. For I am your provider and I meet all your needs. My plan for your future has always been filled with hope. Because I love you with an everlasting love my thoughts towards you are countless as the sand on the seashore his thoughts of you and I are countless as the sand on the seashore and I rejoice over you with singing I will never stop doing good to you he will never stop doing good to you so many people think that when something is done wrong it is from god here it proves wrong it says i will never stop doing good for you for you are my treasured position i desire to establish you with all my heart and soul and i want to show you great and marvelous things if you seek me with all your heart you will find me delight in me and i will give you the desires of your heart for it is i who gave you those desires i am able to do more for you than you could possibly imagine for i am your greatest encourager he is your greatest encourager all these verses i am reading to you so that you can um either write it down and remind yourself later that you are beloved to god and um you can see in the bible how much he loves us i am also the father who comforts you in all your trouble when you are heartbroken i am close to you as a shepherd carries a lamb i carry you close to my heart gosh um one day i will wipe away every tear from you i will take away all your pain you have suffered on this earth i am your father i will love you even as i love my representation from my being so he's saying that he will love you as much as he loves jesus and he came to demonstrate that i am for you and not against you jesus came to demonstrate that he is not against you but he is with you i am coming to the end <laughs> and to tell you that i am not counting your sins jesus died so that i could be reconciled his death was the ultimate expression of my love for you i gave up everything that i loved that i may gain your love i gave up everything that i loved including his son jesus christ just to love you to show that he loves you if you received the gift of my son jesus christ you receive me and nothing will ever separate you from my love again come home this is This is my favorite one. <laughs> Come home and I will throw the biggest party heaven has ever seen. I have always been your father and will always be your father. My question is will you be my child? I am waiting for you. Love your dad almighty god. So this is the whole I know it was long thank you so much for being with me through the whole thing but this is really worth the wait and worth the sitting down and listening to this beautiful letter that God has given to us through his verses and through the bible I really hope that you feel the love of God as much as I feel right now so let's pray and um let's tell god that we will be his child and that we are waiting for him to come to us and to dine with us and to take us home 
Thank you, Heavenly Father, for such a beautiful letter. I'm trying to hold in my tears. I'm not doing so good in it. But I thank you so much that you said that you will wipe away all our tears and you will be with us and that you are waiting for us and that you have always been and always be our Father. Lord, as your question is, will, you, will we be your child? I pray, Lord, that today we will make an effort to be your child and be and make you happy, Lord, just as how much we want to make our um, he- um, earthly father happy and proud of us. Pray that we will do the same with you, Lord. Thank you so much, Lord, that you have carried us close to your heart, Lord. Pray that we will do the same. I thank you so much, Lord, that you have brought your son, Jesus Christ, and um made him die for us since we, to show us how much you love us. I pray, Lord, that our love for you will only grow, Lord, and that we will grow closer to you. Thank you so much for this letter. I really pray that it has touched many people who have heard it as much as it has touched me. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' precious name we pray, Amen. Amen. <laughs> this is little lights and um, this is the, it's not in a good condition, but this is the letter. I think um, my Sunday school teacher gave it to each one of us mm-hmm. and um, maybe you can look at this and see how much he loves you. Thank you so much for being with me throughout this whole long session. (laughs) I really hope you felt what I felt as I was reading it. Um, This is Little Lights. We'll see you next Sunday. And always strive to be like Jesus. Shine to be like him. I mean, shine for Jesus. And make sure you love him because he loves you. He's the father waiting for you. So, go to him. (laughs) Thank you, and uh, see you next Sunday.